All right, Halos, welcome back. So sorry about the delay in the videos and all. Um, had some stuff going on, and uh, yeah, just a little bit of like delays, but it should be back. Um, hopefully, I'll try to keep up with uh, at least one upload a day as I've been trying to been trying to do. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and finish the quest we were on previously, uh, returning the um, it was you not Nettle Bay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, not Nettle Bane, but uh, give it, giving the sapling to Danica for uh, restoring the tree here at White Run. Let's go ahead and talk to her, finish this quest off. Do you have the Elder Gleam sap? I do, I've got a sapling. But I can't run the temple without the support of people who are inspired by the Gilder Gleam. How can this little tree bring new worshippers? Maurice said that renewal is more important than maintenance. I. You're right, of course. It can be hard to hear the winds of Kinareth when all you hear are the rabble in the temple. My body burns. Death feeds new life. I'm sure that in time, this little sapling will grow into a new Gildegreen that will tower over White Dragon. Thank you. Absolutely. Glad to help. Ooh, she's a restoration magic trainer. Ooh. I'd gladly share my knowledge with you. Ooh. Actually, that would be really useful. I think the next level that I need on restoration, let me double check real quick, uh, is maybe 50 for uh, the second level of this. Oh, 60, okay. A little bit more than I thought, but I might do that. This is also nice. I have a pre perk to increase my level as well. Okay. Um, well, Hello, child. I'll gladly how share close my am I to my next level? Oh, pretty you. close, actually. Yeah. All right, we'll go ahead and trade a few times on here, which I believe will level us up. Oh, maybe not quite. Okay, well, we're pretty close at least. Level us train more. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I do have Nittlebane in my inventory, I believe, so let's go ahead and drop that off at the house real quick. We are going to give Avrusi Serethi, I think is her name, the uh, Jazz Bay grapes that we've gathered, and then I want to head off to Windhelm real quick um, <clears throat> to, to grab some speech levels from that trainer over there. This will also give us our uh, level up quicker and better and stuff. Oh, hello, Lucia. Let's play a game. Um, not right now, I'm Aww. sorry. Maybe another time. I'm a little bit preoccupied. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's drop this uh, weapon into here. I think we're... Oh, wait. Glassbow is 32. Ebony bow is 34. Oh, shoot. I should start using that then. Hmm. 16. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's favorite this. Let's drop this off, I guess. Elven Dagger will keep with me for now. Mace is my main weapon, so we'll keep that for now. Um, I want to make sure I have everything on that I need to. I believe we're set to go. I don't really remember exactly what we were doing last time around, but I believe we're set. So let's go ahead and do that. I also need to put uh, Ebony Bow as my second hotkey. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and sleep until... Actually, it doesn't really matter. Let's just sleep a couple, like one or two hours. Because we're going to be fast traveling here in a second anyway. Um, I, I, I don't want to fast travel as much, honestly. Uh, but for the sake of completing quests really quickly, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do it this time around. Uh, let's head over to... Where's the marker? Here she is. Serethi Farm. Yep. <clears throat> All right. What's up? Any luck locating those Jazz Bay grapes? I have. All right. Uh, I've brought you 20 Jazz Bay grapes. Fantastic. I was concerned I had asked for too many, but I'm glad to see you proved me wrong. Let me at least give you something for your efforts. Finding all of these couldn't have been easy. Or cheap. Thank you very much. It wasn't super easy, but we got it in the end. It wasn't too hard, I guess. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm not going to sell her my Nurn root, but uh, yeah. Come visit again sometime. Is I'll it try to. They there was a dragon held captive in Whiterun, and you, you released it? By the gods, man. <laughs> Why? 
Uh, I have a plan. All right, but yeah, um, that's gonna be pretty much it for this little area here in the well. So that's basically done. I'm gonna go ahead and head up to Windhelm from here. Uh, actually, I'll go ahead and f travel straight to the Palace of the Kings because it's a little bit closer to the objective that I'm looking for. Although, I do need a little bit more to level up, um, unfortunately. Maybe I should have thought this a little bit better. Thought this out a little bit better, I mean. But, uh, yeah, what did she give me exactly? I wasn't paying close attention. She had a couple potions, I think. Some stuff we can sell, probably. Oh, we've got Olaf one eyes, some stuff. Nice. Harold. Alright, anyways. Um, yeah. Let's see. What should our next quest be? That's the good question. Uh, we still have to harvest some blood for this, so that's going to be a little bit more time. Um, we could go ahead and do College of Winterhold. Uh, that's definitely a good option. I might actually do that, because uh, we're getting pretty high level, and magic's not going to do much damage at higher levels if we don't get better magic. <laughs> to be honest. But, um... Yeah, we have uh, Thieves Guild of Store, of course, we can start. Uh, this is some stuff down in the area as well. Meridia's Beacon to Mount Kilcreath. I need a few more levels before I want to do that because it is leveled in, uh, leveled gear, I believe. And I can't remember if the Galder Blades are leveled gear or not either, but... Um, or the Galder Amulet. <laughs> That's fine, though. Uh, Dawn Garden Dragonborn, we're going to wait on a little bit, I think. Uh, Fralia and her home at White Run. We could do that, I suppose, but I think we'll, I think we'll wait on it for a minute. So, in that case, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do uh, some College of Winterhold stuff. Actually, yeah, let's do it. Let's get up there. Um, do I have any stuff I need to sell real quick before I head up there, though? Let me go ahead and check in the market real quick. Um, Good to see you. Oh, thank you. you too. Divines bless your kind heart. Yeah, thank you. See ya. Let's Thanks go me. ahead and head over here to the market over here, and then we'll see what we've I got. Hammers don't have legs. Oh, it's a conversation. Did you look behind the forge? I think I saw it there. Oh, yes. Now that you mention it, I think. Sorry about that. Dang, he misplaced it and blamed it on his apprentice. What a guy. What's up? Oh, yeah, everyone goal? says Jorland Greymane <coughs> is the best smith in Skyrim. I plan to change a few minds about that. Uh, you're the castle blacksmith? Of course I am. What do I look like? A tavern wench? Uh, I mean... Don't let my words <laughs> cut you too deep. I've just been working the forge too hard. Trying to set this sword right. What's special about this sword? Jarl wants it to look like an ancient blade. High Queen Freedus ruled over Windhelm in the Second Era. Her sword was legendary. Ah. Getting a real sword would be even better than making a copy. But no one wants to risk getting it from its resting place. If you find that sword, Traveler, I be grateful. Alright. Find Queen Freedus' sword inside Kronvinger Hall. Alright, I am a little bit under the weather, if I didn't mention it already, so forgive me if you hear some sniffles and weird things or something, but it should be okay. Uh, I think I'm getting close to being over it, maybe like a couple more days or so. Uh, th does the war mean good business for you? I don't see these troubles as business. This is a labor of honor. To bring Alfred his rightful glory, I would hammer a thousand shields. Shores bones. I might just have to. Yeah, fair enough. How's your steel? Every bit as sharp as what you'll find in White Run. I respect Jorn, but he has the good fortune to work the Sky Forge. Something about the fires. Their steel just holds tighter. If that makes any sense. Yeah, it's definitely special. Forget, you find Queen Freydis' sword. I'll reward you. All right, well, will do. Thanks, appreciate it. All right. Oh, got some steel. Okay. Uh, what's up, Hermer? Uh, is great. I get to see Ulfric up close. Do you like being a blacksmith? Smithing isn't the most exciting thing for me, but we all have to lend a hand as best we can. If a stormcloak uses one of my swords to strike down an imperial soldier, then I've done my part to free our land. 
Fair enough. Uh, sounds like you really admire Ulfric. Every Nord should admire Ulfric. He fights for all of us. In fact, he's the reason I chose to learn the smithing trade. I want to make weapons and armor for the great Stormcloak army. Alrighty then, sounds good. A word of advice. Don't buy discounted armor. <laughs> oh yeah? Uh, is there anything I can smell while I'm here? Iron silver. Oh yes. Please. Uh, that means I can make more jewelry, which means I can make more... Um, I mean, upgrade my smithing level, and then that'll also mean I can... Uh, oh, hello. I can also upgrade my uh, enchantment well, level. Enough, I believe. I yeah. Well, yep. Milcine bought up most of the tomatoes and was asking if we could get more. Come and browse my We've fine got another selection. Dozen ripening on Everything's the vine. fresh and delicious. They should be ready oh. in a few days. I'll be sure to tell her. <clears throat> Looks like some some stuff going on in the market here. Uh, what's up, Narania? I'd travel more, but who wants to deal with all the soldiers these days? That's right. Uh, are, are you treated as badly as the Dark Elves? It was difficult at first. The Nords of this city are at best suspicious of outsiders. But in time, I made the right friends and proved myself useful enough that they don't give me trouble anymore. The Dark Elves are too proud and naive to understand the way things truly are, and so they continue to dwell in that slum. Oh, okay. Uh, how long have you been in Wintel? Just got here from the Somerset Isles. Lots of opportunity in Skyrim. Alright, uh, what have you got for sale? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Sweet. Yep, this is one of the, uh, the people that I usually sell most of my stuff to when I come here because she's just is one of those vendors that buys and sells a little bit of everything, basically. Um, honestly, buying an Ebony Ingot, that's not a bad idea. Uh, I do like my Grand Soul Gems, so I guess I'll go ahead and pick up one just for fun. Um, other than that, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and see what we can sell. Pretty sure weapons are all good. We might need... Yeah, let's go ahead and sell a couple of these boys. Definitely don't need that. This might come in handy, but I think we're fine. Uh, once again, might come in handy, but I think we're okay. What is my... Oh, yeah. It's a uh, heavy armor. Okay. Yep, that's really good. Uh, yeah, these I can all sell for sure. Boom. 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 What else we got that's useful? That can be useful. <clears throat> uh, can be useful. Can be useful. Go ahead and sell that guy right there. Is there anything else I can buy from you that is useful? I think all of that's pretty not crazy. Alright, nope. Looks like that's about it. Alright, cool. Thanks for doing business. Thank you for your custom. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, hello. We do have the arcane enchanter back here. Let's see if there's anything I can just chat real quickly. Um, if you're looking to get a drink, Candlehearth Hall's got warm fires and strong. Go ahead and just chant that for sure. Uh, this increases my magic by 30 points, but I think we're make it quick. My current helmet does uh, 50 points, right? Fruits and vegetables. All right Let me double check that actually real quick, because mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I can just get rid of this now. Uh, if that is the case, yeah, plus 50 magicka. So, and it gives two more effects as well, so let's go ahead and get rid of this. Learn that in chat as well, just for fun. And then, I'm still going to keep these for now, but I might have to learn that in chat pretty soon here. Same thing with this. Uh, apprentice Robes of Illusion. Make it quick. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and get rid of it. That should level us up, I believe. Sweet, yep. Good stuff. And then I think we're good in terms of all this stuff, but let me double check. No, oh, maybe not I actually. More, but uh, let's do... These days. Oh yeah, no, these are like the, the cheaper rings and necklaces, because it's just silver. So it's barely worth using our um, yeah. <coughs> our soul gems on that, to be honest. Alright, cool. Should be good in that My term. Let's own farm outside the city. It's honest work, if a bit dull. Yeah, fair. The cruel seas have been sailors for generations. In truth, I regret not following in the footsteps of my ancestors. Uh, what's up, I've Tulfa? been not really sure what to do with myself anymore. I just miss her so much. Sorry, I missed the first oh. dialogue you said. My bad. Fruit and vegetables for sale. Yes. 
Uh, do you grow all your own crops? Everything you see is grown at my family's own Holly Frost farm. Fresh and filling. I also do a little herb growing. The court wizard, Woundfirth, pays us to plant a little nightshade. Who knows what he uses it for. Hey, could you Ooh. deliver this bottle of nightshade extract to Woundfirth? Okay, sure. I'll make sure he gets it. Thanks. <clears throat> That's kind of funny. Uh, must be tough to grow anything out here. There's an old saying that only a Nord can work the soil in Skyrim. I don't think anyone else would have the patience for it. It takes half a day just to dig a planting row in the cold, stony earth here. But what else can we do? Eat rocks and ice? Fair enough. Uh, I don't here. think I can sell her anything of use. No. Good day to you. Uh, what's up, Evel? Try not to think of her. But sometimes the You need anything? Thing come see me. Uh, I'm as where do you get your goods? I am discreet. Okay. Okay. Where do you get your goods? Wherever I can find them. If you're the type who worries over where something came from, you may want to move on. Okay. Uh, you live in the Grey Quarter. I'm a dark elf, and I live in Windhelm. So yes, I live in the Grey Quarter. You must be new around here, or you'd know they don't let my kind live anywhere outside that slum. Uh, all right. Anyways, uh, what have you got for sale? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. This guy also is a buyer and seller of pretty much everything, so that's really useful as well to have him over here. Let's get silver ore for sure, and let's go ahead and keep selling what we were, were selling. Uh, this guy can go apparel, I believe they're down here. Yep, this guy can go. This guy can go, this guy can go, and I think there's a couple. Yep. We'll go ahead and give him that. That should be just about it, actually. Anything I could, I could do down here? Nah, it's not really worth selling, honestly, for ten gold. Be sure to stop by Sadri's used wares in the Grey Quarter. Oh, thank you. I think I could actually, since I built, I bought that uh, silver ingot, I can make one more, or silver ore rather. I can make that silver ingot. Nice, sweet. Uh, there is actually a couple quests in here as well. So we're gonna go ahead and head. Master, you're far too old for this sort of journey. We don't know what's inside. Uh, I'll... I can... <coughs> just... <coughs> Jeez, you okay? See, you're not well. Have a seat, and I'll fetch you some tonic. Oh, if there was a tonic that could help me, I would have found it by now. Uh, not necessarily, I guess. Oh, he teleported. Hello? I think they glitched a little bit. Uh, anyways, what's up? Alchemy is simple. Unless, of course, you were simple. Then, I can't help you. <laughs> what were you arguing about? Just a man's life work is all. I finally derived the location of the white file. But this doting busybody won't let me get it. If you tell me where it is, I can get it for you. You would do that? It's good to know there are some people out there who are willing to help an old man. It's buried with its maker, Kural Mill, in a long forsaken cave to the west of here. Kural Mill was a crafty one, even in death. You would need the skills of a master alchemist to reach his resting place. Luckily for you, I've already made the mixture. Here, take it. Please, don't, don't dally. I've wasted enough time arguing with my useless assistant here. All right, there we go. Nerelian's mixture added. <coughs> Retrieve the white file. All right, uh, why is the file so important to you? I've spent my entire life searching for it. It brought me all the way to these frozen reaches from the warm embrace of Somerset Isle. Entire years spent in libraries, seeking out tiny villages with local legends that contain but a whisper of a hint of the file. I even named my shop after it, hoping that it might attract anyone who had heard of it. And now it's within my grasp. But the eight, it seems, <coughs> have chosen me for their amusement. 
<laughs> or in my current condition. I'll never be able to lay my hands on it. That is sad. Uh, what is the white file? A legendary bottle, forged in the days when Skyrim was just starting its turn to ice. A small container made of the magically infused snow that first fell on the throat of the world. It is said that the file will replenish whatever fluid is placed inside of it. For an alchemist like myself, it is the most pure expression of my art. To create from nothingness is... poetry. Yeah, sounds great. Alright, uh, what have you got for sale? Take a look. Uh, let's see if he has anything interesting, like, uh, Daedra Hearts, I definitely need to take. Uh, these all seem, I mean, useful for multiple reasons, like speech and just for alchemy, but I think we'll, I'll skip that for now. That's useful, that could be useful, though I think we're fine. Uh, Sam and I shouldn't really need, to be honest. Yeah, I think we're good, actually. <coughs> Alright, cool. Why are you still standing around here? Go get me the file, you fool! All right, chill, My chill. master can be a bit short-tempered, but I've learned so much from him. Indeed. Uh, what's up, Quintus Navali? I'll never have Master Norellian skill with potions. Uh, do you think the white file exists? It doesn't matter what I believe. Norellian does. And it might be the only thing keeping him alive right now. Uh, why do you work for Norellian? Are you kidding? I came all the way from Cyrodiil just to work with him. He's... he's not the best teacher, but just watching him, I've learned so much. Alright, fair enough. I'd better get going. Alright, so uh, we will actually head out and do that eventually. I don't think I'm going to do it like right, right away, uh, but it's a possibility. Either way, um, let's go ahead and... What you doing, buddy? Are you, why are you over here? Oh, hello. <clears throat> Who are you? Jorah. We're the only temple in Skyrim that can openly worship Talos. Why are you out by the blacksmith area? Are the people of Wendhelm devout? Like anyone, a crisis will push them towards devotion. I've been seeing a lot of the Shatter Shields since they lost their daughter. Helevi Krulsi comes in a lot, but I haven't seen her husband here in years. Ulfric prays for strength. I speak to Captain Lonely Gale, but he doesn't spend much time here. Too busy. Okay, what does Talos have to do with the war? The Empire's elven puppet masters never cared much for the idea of a human becoming a divine. So the worship of Talos is outlawed. Skyrim doesn't take kindly to being told what to do. And to try and forget Talos, well, they may as well ordered us all to cut off our ears. Alright, tell me about Talos. Talos, who in life was known as Tiber Septum, united Tamriel and founded the Empire. He was rewarded for his deeds by being joined with the Divines in eternal glory. The only mortal to do so. We worship him that we might follow in his path. We can't literally join him in the heavens, but we may do our best to know them here on Nur. Alright, cool. Anyways, uh... Blacksmith's Quarters, thank you. RK? I thought you were a Talus. Anyways, um, <clears throat> let's move on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and level up real quick because we did end up doing that. We'll wrap up the episode here in just a second. Um, we could do our magic up a bit, but I think I'm just going to keep going on health for a while. Uh, I'm going to go up to 400 or something. Um, do a couple perks we can increase, but I'm going to go ahead and do some more of this girl up here. I believe she's up here. Sometimes she moves around a little bit, but she's usually up here. Uh, oh, maybe not. Where is she at? Maybe I need to wait a little bit longer. Maybe that's what it is. Or maybe she's just wandering around somewhere. That's a possibility. Sometimes she does that. Let me see if I can find her real quick. Uh, oh, there's a little bit of a queue. Ah, oh, here she is. Yes, perfect. All right, Silda the Unseen. Spare a coin. 
Talos rewards the generous. Oh shoot. It's a pickpocket. Never mind. That's not the what the trading I needed. I needed speech trading. Okay, never mind. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your Well, uh in that case, uh we will go ahead and explore the other set of Windtown pretty soon and I can't remember if we've explored this area yet or not, but um that building I mean. But uh we'll go ahead and explore some more Windtown later. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Um, <clears throat> thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next one. Alright, peace.